Welcome to my monthly readings for the star signs for August 2016. I'm Natalia, welcome to my channel and find the appropriate star sign for you that corresponds with your sun, your moon and your rising sign and listen to those and hopefully those will resonate with you. Have a fantastic month of August. Hello Leo, I'm Natalia and welcome to your monthly angel readings for August 2016 and happy birthday to you if you've got your birthday in the month of August. And this is for you if you have your sun, your moon, or your rising sign in Leo. So the way I'm going to do your reading for you this month is I'm going to select three cards. And the first card relates to the beginning of the month. So let's choose that one. And um, the second card relates to the middle of the month. And then the final card that I'm going to take out is in relation to the energy and the messages from your angels for the end of the month. And also make sure that you listen to the whole video because I've got a mini reading for the new moon and the full moon coming up at the end. So Leo, so birthday month for some of you as I said, and what a card to start the month off with, a really powerful month for you. And actually, there's a new moon in Leo uh, on the 2nd of August, so if it's your birthday on the 2nd, it's a particularly important time because it's all about manifesting. The new moon is all about really setting our intentions for what we want to, to draw towards us into our life over the next 30 days. And you get a chance to do that every month. But because Leo is having the, the full moon in its sign, this sorry, the new moon in its sign uh, this month is particularly important. And we've got the magician here. So we see the number one card in this um, angel tarot deck. And the magician is all about being very, very powerful. It's about stepping into our power and about being ready to start something new. So what is it, Leos, that you've been wanting to get off the ground, to start, to initiate? And where have maybe you not felt as though you were ready to do it, or the time was right, or that you were powerful enough? Well, now you are. There's no hesitation. Get going on whatever you have been wishing and hoping and dreaming about. The other thing, <clears throat> excuse me, to say about this card is that the archangel within this card is the Archangel Raziel. And Archangel Raziel is a very important archangel because he's said to sit at the side of the divine or God, who, whoever you, you see as the divine force of energy. And he knows or overhears what our life purpose is. And so he will show up and align himself with you at a time when you're about to embark on a really important part of your life purpose, the next stage of your journey, what you came here for. So this, not only is the new moon in your sign, but also it's an incredibly powerful time for you to get things moving in relation to your life's journey. So I feel um, almost like I have goosebumps thinking about the thought of that for you, Leo. So let's see what's coming up around the middle of the month of August. And we've got this Three of water. It's a beautiful card, this one. Water energy cards within the Angel Tarot are all about emotions. And the three of water is about this milestone in terms of heightened emotions. And it's about celebrations. We've got these three happy little dolphins on this card. And they are all swimming around these three bejeweled cups that are just flowing with, with love and um, of, of really happy kind of energy um, and so what are you celebrating around the middle of August maybe it's your birthday maybe there's some important occasion that you're going to or maybe it's just that you've got something off the ground that you really needed to start and that is culminating in a real cause for celebration but certainly Leo it's a time when you should be having a lot of fun so what's coming up for you at the end of the month? Right, well, we've got the Lover's Card with Archangel Raphael, so it's going to be quite a month for you, Leo, it really is. And um, the Lover's Card is another of the major arcana cards, like the Magician card that I drew at the beginning. And you can see we have Archangel Raphael here on the card, and all of this green energy, which is all related to the Heart Chakra. Um, and there's a couple of things that I, I get from this card. First of all, I feel as 
so it's very much about following your heart this month, particularly as you get towards the end of the month. And this card can often be about making a decision, it's about choices, deciding what it is that you want to do. But always make sure that you are being led by your heart and you can't go wrong with the decision you make when you do that. The other thing about this card is it can often speak of a really important person coming into your life or an important milestone in a, in a love relationship. So if you are single, this is a really great omen. It's a great indicator of there's somebody coming along and a soulmate energy, somebody who you're divinely connected with, that you, you're divinely inspired to meet. I've had quite a bit of love coming up in some of the other star sign readings, so it's good to see that coming up for you, Leo. Or, if you're in an existing relationship, it's about the power of, of healing, of healing any kind of conflict, of deepening unconditional love between you. Um, and that's the role of Archangel Raphael. He is the physician angel, the one who helps us to heal physical and emotional ailments, past issues that we've had, um, and then able to make our connection even stronger with the one that we love. Okay, so big month for you, Leo. Now let's have a look and see what are the um, messages from your angels for the new moon that's in your sign that is happening on the 2nd of August. So I'm going to draw a card from the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra and Taylor. And, um, and the card I've drawn here is the Thinking Woman. The Thinking Woman. So um, the Thinking Woman card is a, quite a serious lady on this card and she's holding a book and she's got a, a book in one hand, a scroll in the other, and then she's got a pile of books in front of her. And it looks like she's, she's um, standing in some um, institution or a library or some kind of place of learning that's, that's ancient and, and um, a very wise place. So this is a woman who really likes to get an awful lot of information together, who um, really uses her intellect to power her forward in life. And um, the message for you at the new moon, I feel, Leo, is all about using your mind, about gaining a lot of wisdom. It's, it's almost about a sense of maturity. And if we come back to the magician, the magician has Archangel Raziel, and he's an, always depicted as looking quite old in um, images of him as an angel. But also he's incredibly wise because he's, he's all seeing and all knowing. And it's as though you are really stepping into a sense of inner wisdom. It could be a really great time for you to learn something new and um, to really sharpen your skill set, your, you know, really acquire knowledge at this time. So the final card that I'm going to draw for you comes from the Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno and this is a card that relates to the full moon which also happens to be an eclipse on the 18th of August. So the card I've drawn for you is this one. So it's, um, it's a lady who has angel wings and she's got these stars that are sitting at various points along her body that are in relation to the chakras which are the energy centers in the body. So it's almost like all of this power radiating from the root chakra all the way up to um, going up to her um, third eye chakra. Um, and the words on this card are that a new phase is beginning that brings new opportunities and it's a lucky and prosperous time. And that that previously seemed impossible now is possible. Doors previously closed now open and your world is full of light. So what a really great way to end the reading. I feel as though it's a very powerful month for you. You've got two major arcana with the Magician and the Lover's card. And then you've got this Thinking Woman card about all about your inner wisdom and also your intellect carrying you forward in a big way. And then in the middle of the month, you've got this cause for celebration, this happy time, this joyous time where you're emotionally, your cup's running over. Um, so look forward to this being a powerful month for you, Leo. I hope it is um, an incredibly um, lucky and positive month as well. So if you would like to arrange a private reading with me, you can just have a look at the info button that's in the top right hand corner of this video. 
and um, you'll find all of the different services that I offer. So have a fabulous month Leo, I look forward to catching up with you again in September.